What if I show you a free app that can take the stock version of Windows 11 or Windows 10 that is full of bloatware and useless POPs and turns it into a clean and optimized version of Windows super easily. The best part is that it will block Windows from reinstalling any of the bloat that we will remove, keeping your Windows debloated even after updates. So as you can see, this is a fresh Windows 11 install with all of the bloatware present inside of here, including the widgets as well as all of these notifications. And if I go to the task manager and go to the performance, as you can see that we are hovering around 150-ish processes and the memory usage is around 2.5 gigabytes as well. We will be comparing this at the end to get a rough estimate of how much we can optimize the windows using this free app. So the app is called Winhans and it's by a fellow YouTuber called Memory. I will leave the link to his channel down below in the description. Also to use this app you can go ahead and download it from his github which will be linked in the description and then run the PowerShell script or the other method that is far easier is go down to your start menu and search for PowerShell then run it as admin. Once it opens up, go ahead and copy and paste this command first and then hit enter. Then go ahead and type in Y and then press enter. And the second command that will also be in the description is this one. Simply go ahead and copy and paste this and then hit enter. And now this is going to download and run the script automatically. As you can see, we have launched into the app once more. I will basically walk you through the whole app showcasing what it can do and what you should do to optimize your PC without breaking any functionality that you might need. So when first launching the app, you will be welcomed by this greeting message which basically says that you are using the software at your own risk. So we will just hit OK and then it will create a registry backup at the location provided here. This ensures that you can revert all the registry changes back to their default if you wish to. Then simply hit OK once again. And here is the application user interface. Under the software and apps, the install software section is collapsed and if I expand it down, here are a bunch of applications that you can install from within here. This is really useful because you can reinstall applications like Microsoft Store, Microsoft Edge and even OneDrive from here because we will be removing them and if you don't have a browser already installed you can install that from here as well since we will be removing the microsoft edge but for now we're gonna go ahead and collapse it down and move on to the remove windows apps because this is the section that requires the most attention and is the most interesting one so here as you can see there are a bunch of applications that you can remove including the xbox app the microsoft store microsoft edge and even onedrive and if i go on to the useless bloatware and hover over this tooltip you can see a bunch more apps and even legacy features that will be removed so a quick update as I was recording this video the app has been updated and now instead of pushing everything under the more bloatware section he has provided more options to uninstall or keep these apps individually as you can see the ones in the red have already been uninstalled and the ones in the green are installed within here but this changes nothing basically you can go ahead and select all and then click on remove apps or make sure to uncheck any of the ones that you may want to keep and all it takes is clicking on the select all button and then clicking on remove apps however to show you guys that we have the complete control over what we want to remove and what we want to keep i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the calculator app meaning that it won't uninstall the calculator app and everything else that is checked here will be uninstalled then clicking on remove apps will start the process it will ask whether you want to remove microsoft edge yes and then it will start up the edge removal tool and as you can see the icon is about to disappear and there it is microsoft edge has been successfully removed from your system and a startup task was created to prevent it from reinstalling if you experience any issues you can delete that task from the task scheduler which i will show you guys in a bit but this is basically what allows us to block the windows from reinstalling any of this bloat even with windows updates so simply hit ok and then it will ask whether you want to remove onedrive hit yes once again and then it will start removing onedrive all right so onedrive has been removed but would you like to remove the local onedrive folders and data so if you have used onedrive in the past and have data on it then you would click no but if you are like me and have never used onedrive so have no data on it then i'm gonna go ahead and click yes and it will completely remove the data as well so onedrive has been successfully removed once again a startup task was created hit ok once more and then it will ask whether you want to remove the apps from your system that could cause instability so there's nothing really to worry about unless you use specific apps so i'm gonna go ahead and hit ok then it will go in and start removing all of the microsoft built-in packages one by one so that took a couple of minutes and all the selected apps have been removed once again a startup task was created to make sure that all of this bloatware is not reinstalled by windows by any means so hit ok and now if i go to the start menu you can see that everything has been removed 
except for the Outlook icon and the LinkedIn icon and these will be completely removed after the restart so there's nothing to worry about and also as you can see that the calculator is still present here because I had unchecked it. However before restarting let's move on to the optimizations and inside of here you can optimize your system settings and performance. The first setting that is collapsed under here is the Windows security setting and inside of here you can set the UAC notification level to moderate, low or high. Moderate is by default on Windows and I like to keep it at low to resolve that annoying pop-up and also some of the tweaks do require it to be set to low to properly work so that is the reason I keep it at low but moderate should work fine for most of you. And then there is the Windows security suit which you can enable or disable from here. If I hover over this tooltip it will show you that it's going to disable all the Windows security will be removed, Defender Windows security including smart screen, Defender services, drivers, Spectre and Meltdown, data execution prevention and all of that good stuff will be completely removed or disabled. You can also re-enable it from here. So if I go to my start menu and go to search and search for Windows security as you can see that everything here is working completely fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on disable. It's going to ask me whether I want to keep the windows vulnerable. So yeah if you use windows responsibly this shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna hit yes and then I'm gonna hit yes once again to make sure and then it's going to disable the windows security suit. As you can see I'm already getting the notifications that everything is going to be disabled and some powershell scripts may pop up that is completely fine because it's changing some registry values in the background using powershell. Alright so the windows security suit has been disabled. A restart is required to apply the changes. Restart now. I'm gonna click on no because we will be restarting after applying all of these optimizations. Then scrolling down we have the privacy settings, the gaming optimizations, windows updates, power settings, schedule tasks and windows services. And for all of these if you hover over the tooltip you can see what it will enable or disable such as disabling the background apps or the activity history and the privacy settings will all be done by this. Turning on the game mode, disabling game bar and game DVR, increasing the CPU and GPU priority for windows, all of those registry files that we use to change manually will automatically be changed using the gaming optimizations. Then for the windows updates it's going to disable the automatic updates, delays feature updates for a year and delays security updates for just 7 days so you still get security updates. For the power settings it's going to go ahead and disable the hibernation, import the ultimate power plan and apply that one, disable power throttling and you can read the rest. For the schedule task it's going to disable all of these schedule tasks that are automatically applied within the windows and start off with your system every single time. So this is something that I do highly recommend and for the windows services it's going to disable these services that are listed here and it's also going to set other services to manual wherever it is allowed. So simply go ahead and select all of these and then click on apply. And then it's going to go ahead and configure all of these settings and apply all of these changes which I will show you guys in a minute. And the optimizations have been completed. You can see that it has applied all of these tweaks and optimized all of these settings. We will also need to restart our computer for all of these changes to take effect so I'm gonna hit ok. And one more important thing is that you can revert any of these optimizations back to their defaults by simply clicking on them and clicking on this default icon. But before that I'm gonna show you that all of these changes have been applied so I'm gonna go to start menu and then settings. Then let's go to privacy and security and under general you are able to see that all of these have been turned off. However for everything else to be turned off you will need to of course restart your computer which we will be doing in a minute. But to also show you that reverting these changes works as well I'm gonna click on privacy settings once more and go back to the default settings. Hit ok. Let's go back to these settings once more. Privacy and security and if I go to general now you can see that all of these have been turned on. But of course I want to turn them off so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it once more and that's it. Let's move on to the customization options and finally we will be restarting our computer. Inside of here you can go to the dark mode so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the dark mode and it also asks you whether you would like to switch to the default dark mode theme but no I want to keep this wallpaper so I'm gonna click no and as you can see that we have been switched to dark mode. Then there are a bunch of explorer and taskbar start menu tweaks which will remove anything and everything and also customize all of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on select all and apply this and you can always once again go to these tooltips and check for yourself what it's going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply and you will be able to see all of these changes in real time right here. So it cleaned up the start menu and also applied some of these changes as you can see. The taskbar has been shifted to the left as it should be and there are a bunch of search settings, sound settings, accessibility settings, notifications have been turned off, explorer settings include some things like if I open up the explorer it should open up to this PC instead of the normal library and you can see that bunch of things from here have been unpinned. Once again you can go ahead and select any of these and revert them back to default as well and one very important thing is that you can support the development of this program by going to the about section 
section and going to the PayPal section. Also, when closing the program for the first time, it will ask you whether you want to support. So make sure that if you can, it's not really necessary, but if you can, then you should go ahead and support this program. So if I go to the start menu, you can see that the things have already been unpinned and only settings and file explorer remain here. But let's go ahead and restart our computer to make sure that all of the tweaks have been applied. Alright, so as you can see that a bunch of things have been removed, everything is pretty clean down here as well, as well in the start menu. Also, if I go to the start menu now and search for security and open up the Windows security, the icon is still there but there is nothing inside of here. As you can see that it is completely empty. So it has completely disabled the Windows security and once again you can use the app to re-enable it anytime you want. And if I go into the settings, let's go on to privacy and security, let's go to uh, let's say diagnostic and feedback, everything here should be turned off same thing should be done with the activity history everything is turned off and if i go back to gaming the game bar should be turned off and the game mode should be turned on inside of the apps if i go to installed apps as you can see that only a few apps remain here it does say edges here but it's not trust me it's completely removed so yeah a bunch of things have been applied and if also i right click on the desktop you can see that the classic right click is back which is the best one because i really don't like the windows 11 context menu also one more little thing before we go ahead and compare the before and after is go to your start menu and search for task scheduler it should be something like this open it up and inside of here if i go to the library and go to winhance you can see that these three tasks have been added these are the bloatware removal which will make sure that the windows does not reinstall any of the other bloatware this one is for the edge and this one is for onedrive so in any case that you do want to use any of these software and don't want windows to automatically remove them on the restart simply go ahead and right click on that and click on disable so now if i install onedrive it won't be automatically removed or if the windows installs onedrive with the update it won't automatically be removed but if you do want to remove it then simply go ahead and right click and click on enable or just leave it at ready as it was and now if i open up the task manager let's go to the performance and under the cpu as you can see that the processes have been reduced by about 50 ish you can of course get them to pretty low as well but for just a single tool this is pretty good and this does not break any functionality either so you can use this for work as well moving on to memory we have reduced it from around 2.8 gigabytes to just around 1.3 gigabytes which of course can be reduced a lot more but the application will also be receiving updates because i know he's working on an update right now as i am making this video so i will probably be making another video on this tool but for now if you want to really optimize your windows and get more fps in games then check out this video right now